welcome back to the channel hope everybody is doing well and today we're on with an impact screwdriver set from Vera uh, this set I purchased from Prime Tools in the UK it is the KK900 set 1 and is 19 pieces obviously in its cardboard packaging that Vera like to use an awful lot of uh, inside we have a sticker, Tools Rebel sticker, and a couple of bits of leaflets uh, for sales, I guess. And then the Velcro strip to allow this to be attached to another bag. Um, this is the package itself, obviously in its canvas case here with the embossed logo. The top here and the embossed tool you quite often see on a lot of these Vera packages. Uh, and inside we've got the complete set here. Now, you can purchase this as a complete set, as I have here, or you can purchase each of these bits as individuals, or you can purchase the handle as an individual bit as well. Uh, the handle itself, we take a look at it. Uh, this is uh, the black plastic that you see around here is a smooth, hard plastic. Your yellow has a bit of a rubberized, textured feel to it, a little bit softer, I guess. And then the yellow collar here, which we use for changing the function of the tool, is solid plastic as well. And then the actual head for accepting the bits. This is quarter drive hex shank, which is standard, although the bits are obviously impact rated. And with the actual tool itself, uh, there is no uh, piece that actually holds these, it's just a friction fit. Uh, where you see the wrap adapters where you actually lock in and you have to release the collar. This just pulls in and out. Um, so there is no locking on the actual bits, but it is quite a tight friction fit in there. At the moment, I've got two functions on this. I've got the collar set to locked, so this is a standard screwdriver. You can utilise, if I flip to the unlocked position here, then you get the impact driving motion. So you strike this with the hammer here, and that will force this head in. And you would twist the bit. Obviously, the handle's twisting while I'm doing it at the moment, but the handle would stay still, and the bit would actually twist, as you can see there, and you can undo something. Um, twisting to the left, uh, I think I yes, yeah, there's actually on the box. So it's 25 newton meters of force, uh, max force available when you strike this. Um, now, the only other thing to be slightly aware of is that this will only undo the standard right hand thread so this will only twist to the left clockwise to undo a standard right hand thread it will not undo left handed threads um, which is slightly different to the other impact driver that I have that I've had for many many a year uh, which we'll just go into after I've gone through the bits that are available with this um, I've put the PZ3 bit in here and then you have a PZ2 and a PZ1 uh, Phillips 3, 2 and 1, uh, slotted which is 1.2 by 65, uh, 1 by 5.5 and a 0 0.8 by 4 and then down this side we've got hex 3, 4, 5 and 6 and torques 15, 20, 25, 30 and 40. So a fairly comprehensive range of bits available for this and these bits will actually fit as I say the standard quarter drive so they will go into an impact gun such as this again they won't lock in place it's quite a loose fit actually in that one but if you wanted to you could use them uh, in this kind of a gun I'll just put that to one side at the moment as I said I have another impact driver I've had this many many a year uh, which is the standard driver you would use uh, available on cars I've used this uh, plenty of time I think I've even this might even be my third one of these. Um, they do take an awful lot of punishment, uh, which is intriguing. So obviously this is 100% metal, uh, very hefty. Um, you can feel this in the weight between the two, uh, quite a substantial weight between the two. Um, with the, the plastic driving, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how well that uh, does last. Fundamental difference, I guess, with this is that it's... Uh, 8mm shank on this for the bits. You see the number of bits are here, nowhere near the number of bits that you get in this kit, even with the 1, 2, 3, 4 that I've got missing. They're obviously damaged over the years. You can 
can see I've damaged the slot one as well and ground him down. And these Phillips and Posies uh, do get an awful lot of uh, abuse. Uh, as well as that, this one here, you can take the adapter bit off, and this is a standard half inch drive now, so I could put in a standard half inch socket if I wanted to and use it to impact off that. I also have, well, this can also do left hand and right hand threads, so you can drive in and flick it over, and then you will be able to, as you impact it, it will do a different thread. So you can change the direction on this. As I said, that only has capability to undo right hand threads. So we'll just bring our scales in here and just weigh them just out of interest to see what the difference is. Uh, no bits there. We've got uh, 816 grams on standard one. Um, this is, uh, do you know what? I have no manufacturer's name on this whatsoever. Yeah, it's a no brand. Didn't even want to admit to, to making it. Uh, so 800 odd grams with that one, 310 grams with the Vera one. So substantial difference uh, between the weight of these two items. So that's the two drivers there and the differences between them. I said this is an 8mm shank so none of these bits will fit in this and vice versa. Um, whilst I can put a socket onto this, there is no adapter to put a socket on these. Um, I've, even with the individual bits that are for sale I've not seen an adapter to go from a hex head to a standard quarter inch uh, shaft, something like this, although that's 3 8 that would actually fit in there and then you could put a socket on, although this one's not impact rated. Um, obviously I have purchased the Ghidorah as well, uh, which would take that bit, I guess I could. Uh, oops, that's not going to go that way. Um, you could do that, that does fit in there. So that's an alternative as well. I could use this along with the Ghidorah bits to get that kind of a fix in with it, but it would have been nice to have this come with this kind of adapter here that you could convert it for use with small sockets, quarter inch drive sockets as well. But other than that, everything all seems good. I plan to use this in a loadout for switch gear maintenance to carry out maintenance on the large air circuit breakers and uh, vacuum breakers that I work on. Um, so that will be useful that to have both the impact function on there and to be able to turn it to a standard screwdriver. Uh, might reduce some of the other tools that I carry about. So there you have it. That's the Vera. Um, this is the 921 impact driver um, in the actual 900 set one so it's got all the bits with it. Um, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful and I'll see you again in the next one.